morning from Penang, Malaysia. Today is my first full day here in Penang and I'm so excited to start my journey here in this beautiful, beautiful city. Penang is well known for many, many things, including the world's heritage site, the first British outpost here in the east, the vibrant culture, and the beautiful streetscape. And my plan today is to explore what Penang is mostly known for, its food scene. I'll be joining in the food tour Malaysia, the first food tour here in the whole country. And they're just gonna explore up and down, inside and out, Penang food scene. So I'll take you around. Wow, and I'm already sweating. It's not even nine o'clock yet. Our first destination is the Kimberley Street, where you find a street food market here in Penang. And we are stopping by here, a place to get something that's called the Indian Apom. Very simple, it just looks like a crepe of some sort. It's very small. It's pretty crispy too. It's good for breakfast, it's just very light to give you a jump start to start the morning. So watch out for traffic and the drains. <laughs> That's the number one advice that we got here today. Start walking into the market. Bicycles everywhere too. It's exciting, it's just so much activities going on. It's a very unusual fish. What's the name of the fish? That's what we call kingfish, kingfish. Kingfish. And look how skillful he is, he's cutting out everything. Next on the list is the Chinese donut. Uh, one of them is called ham chin peng. It's kind of a light, airy thing in the middle. Five spice powder in it. That's interesting. It is settled sweet, so it's not like super sweet. It's chewy. And you almost know that this is like a Chinese smell. There are actually two kinds that we bought earlier. One with the sesame seeds in it. Oh, I do like this one. You can dunk this into a coffee and I can see like people like it. If you want to try anything, it's definitely come in in the morning because it gets sold out really, really fast. We are currently in the Chow Rasa market and there's just so many different stalls that you could pick and choose from. And we're about to find somewhere to sit. And I think we just order our drink. My nutmeg drink just arrived. It does take like Coke, but it's like a flat Coke. There's no carbonation whatsoever. If you're walking around here and just start to like sweat, this is a very good thing to have. Next on our plate is a curry mee, and it's a Penang version because it has uh, some coconut broth in it. Uh, you're okay, spicy, right? Yes. Yeah. Normally for curry mee, you would want the chili to be inside. Not so quite. usually there are two types of noodles. You notice the yellow one? Yep. The yellow one is what we call the Hokkien mee. That's a uh, cuttlefish. Curry mee is the bomb, shall we? Oh. That's really tasty. You can definitely taste the broth and just really strong, a lot of spices in it. The next dish is something called a fried rice cake. This is the Penang version, where normally there is no radish in the rice cake itself. You can smell it right away. It's kind of chewy, but it kind of cuts right through. And then it's very savory, I would say. Bean sprouts, duck sauce, egg, and soy sauce and crunchy radish it's really good it's only food number five that's crazy this is all tastes really good and really different another specialty of Penang is called a popia egg roll savory dish that we're gonna try it's our specialty. We have been doing this popia skin for the past 65 years. 65 years, Same wow. shop. Now it's a big demonstration on how to create our dessert. Okay, here you are. Oh, We're using good great. quality peanuts, no preservative, freshly made every day. That's why a lot of overseas TV stations also know about this. Thank you That's so much. Fine. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Oh, peanuts inside. It's a soft skin, but it's a crunchy, peanutty inside. Oh my goodness, this is really, really good. Definitely check out the Uncle Lim Popia here. So Rasta is famous for probably the food scene. There's also the traditional wet market, all the meat, all the fish, and also eggs, apparently. Salted dog yeah, eggs. eggs. And this is the inside of it. Who knew there's a lot of different kinds of eggs here. Fresh cuttlefish, jellyfish, and also chicken. And one of the stalls actually have a specialty black chicken that I was informed everything is black. The bones, the meat, internal organs, except the feather, apparently. It was white. The next 
food experience is the pickled fruit. This is the pickled nutmeg. Try the nutmeg first. Wow, it's spicy. It's kind of hard a little bit to chew, but it is really crunchy. It's not crunchy what you think of like uh, crackers, but it's crunchy like chewy kind. It's really good. Second fruit to try is papaya. Again, crunchy. It's really good. I love this thing. Enak. 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 Mango. It's really good. Dari Indonesia. Bandung. Uh, I love the pickle fruit thing. It's so good. It's a bit sticky. Minor, minor, minor problem. You know, I've never seen it before. It's called a chiku fruit. So bizarre, never seen it before. Don't eat the black seed, yeah? There's just black seeds inside, so just be careful. So very sweet. Tastes processed, but it's a fresh fruit. Fresh chiku fruit. It's a seed. The Chinatown of Penang. It's called the Campbell Street. Next on our stop is a place called the Hamidia Restaurant. It is located here in Chinatown. And this is the perfect example of how multicultural Penang is. The Indian with the Chinese with the Malay, just everything merged together. We also have something that's called the teh tarik, which is a very uh, Malaysian tea, I think. It's brothy. Thank you. All right, the next dish I'm gonna try is called the muntabak, which goes with the curry and then pickled onion. Oh wow, it's good. It's very tasty. This is the perfect example of savory. The next dish I'm gonna try is the nasi kandar. According to the sign, Hamidia restaurant is the oldest nasi kandar in Malaysia. And it has a beef rendang and served over rice and also pickled duck eggs. Oh, the beef rendang is really good. It's very tender. So one thing I want to try is definitely the duck eggs. The duck eggs are supposed to be very salty, but just eat the yolk part. Followed by a spoonful of rice. Mm, very good. I can see why uh, nasi kandar is a popular dish in Malaysia. This is the specialty of Penang, it's the tambung biscuit. Inside is mung beans and spag. It's a very famous store for the secret chandol. Chandol. Uh, as if we haven't eaten enough yet, our next stop here is Tao Chao Chandol. It is one of the legendary places here in Penang. I think I'm gonna die in happiness. I'm super full now, but you know, we have three different things here. Char Kwe Tiao, Asam Laksa, and Chandol. Here we come, Asam Laksa. I think we're ordering a small amount of noodles in this because we're so full already. So there's some shrimp paste that's specialty of Penang in this Asam Laksa. And then laksa, of course, a very popular dish in Malaysia. And we just mix our asam laksa. We have pineapple, onion, lettuce, mint leaves, cucumber. Definitely gonna try the uh, asam laksa before it gets too cold. As the name suggests, it is sour. Asam means sour in Malay language. You can taste uh, the seafoody part of it. Try the noodles. Laksa noodle. Here we come. Mmm. It's really good. When you mix all together, all the uh, sourness, sweet and salty, it's all mixed together. It's really good. All right, specialty of Penang number, I don't know, 20 for now. <laughs> it's called the Char Kwe Tiao. Chinese sausage, prawn, eggs, bean sprouts, and the uh, clams. Char Kwe Tiao here. Oh, this is tasty. It's really, really good. Penang specialty flat noodles, and I do like the the Chinese sausage. Oh yeah, that's really good for sure. At least two big chunks of prawn. Mm. This place is famous for chendol. It's been here for 1936. It's very beany. How about that? The pandan uh, noodle thing is very leafy because everything is uh, based on uh, leaves. Mm. This is why we love food tour because so many great food and you learn about the dish that you're trying. Especially love the chendol thing. It's really refreshing. Right, this is where they made the chendol and this is one of the most popular destinations for any foodies here in Penang. It's refreshing so it's definitely worth a try. And this is where they made the char kwe tiao. It smells really good here. Penang is famous for street art and this is one of them that we have to check out.
<sighs> the joy of Malaysian summer. <laughs> it's always summer here. And now we're heading out to our second major destination. In order to get there, we have to drive. It's called Ten Jetty. Yes, the Jetty. I think there. this is our last stop for the food tour. As if we're not full enough, it is the Ten Jetty. And it's about 20 minute drive from the center. At this place, we're gonna try three different things. One, something is called the loba. It looks like a pork sausage. Number two is the prawn fritters. And then number three is a tofu. We get a plate uh, prepared for me. Basically all the three side dishes prepared with a specialty chili sauce. Can't say no to specialty chili sauce. It's gotta be good, right? Let's give it a try. Loba, loba. Mmm. It's chewy and the sauce is good. It's really definitely good. Anything deep fried obviously good, but tofu deep fried, good chili sauce for sure. And that's how you make a prawn fritters. Four hours and 50 pounds of food later, I'm finally done with the food tour here in Penang. It was such an amazing experience. My guide Juni is a very knowledgeable person. He gave me a lot of great suggestions and understanding about Penang and its food overall. I'm gonna put the link down below for the food tour Malaysia. If you are in Penang, definitely check them out and it's highly, highly recommended guys. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you will always get notified when we get new vlogs. Thanks for watching from Penang, Malaysia. Yep, 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 yep. For good. One of them is called Ham Chim Peng. Ham Chim Peng? Ham Chim Peng. Ham Chim Peng. Bang, bang. Bang as in biscuit. Ah. Bang. P-E-N-G. P-E-N-G. Ham. Oh my goodness. And this is so Penang. Everything is just all different cultures. Anything from... Thank you. Something just dropped by. Mm -hmm.